Hey you guys, Eddie Fliptronics. I'm going to be doing a Galaxy S4 versus Galaxy S5 spec comparison. So the Galaxy S5 has not been released yet. It's expected to release in April. Uh, the Galaxy S4 was released in April of last year, so um, you know I think that's why there's speculation. Uh, I've heard um, and read that it was going to be released a little bit sooner than April, but uh, April is probably going to be the release date for it. So anyways, um, onto the specs. Um, so the the body style on the Galaxy S4 it had a uh, plastic backing to it. The Galaxy S5 is going to have a plastic backing to it as well, but it's going to be textured in the back, so it's supposed to feel a bit different. Um, you know, the Galaxy S4 had a bunch of different colors uh, for it as well. Um, the Galaxy S5, we can expect to have the black and white, and then there's supposed to be an electric blue and some kind of uh, gold color as well to come out. So. Uh, there's also going to be a fingerprint scanner on the Galaxy S5 for when you swipe it, and it's supposed to be water resistant. So uh, the Galaxy S4 had none of those features, so those are some cool add-ons to the Galaxy S5. Uh, as far as the display, the Galaxy S5 is going to be slightly bigger at 5.1 inches and uh, compared to the 5 inches of the Galaxy S4, so it's going to be a little bit bigger uh, display. But um, as far as the resolution, it's not going to be anything different. It's going to be uh, 18 or 1080 by 1920 pixels, so there's not going to be any kind of difference there. Um, the memory, uh, you're going to be able to use a bigger SD card on the Galaxy S5. It's going to go up to 128 gigabytes, so that'll be a bit of an upgrade. Camera is going to be upgraded on the Galaxy S5. It's going to have a 16 megapixel back camera on it compared to the 13 megapixel on the Galaxy S4 so there's going to be an upgrade there which is nice. Uh, features uh, honestly there's going to be um, some similarities here but um, the Galaxy S5 is going to have a uh, quad-core 2.5 gigahertz processor on it. Um, the Galaxy S4 had a 1.6 uh, quad-core processor on it. So uh, obviously the Galaxy S5 is going to have a huge upgrade on the processor speed So it's going to be faster. It's also going to have faster Wi-Fi on it, which is going to be nice And uh, you know the last thing is battery life. Obviously guys uh, You know battery is always a huge issue. They're promising a, a better battery life um, The Galaxy S4 had a 2600 mAh battery that was removable The uh, Galaxy S5 is going to have a 2800 mAh battery that is also going to be removable, so we'll see um, if the battery life is going to be good. I know uh, a little bit off topic, the Galaxy Note 3 had an excellent battery life, so uh, you know, hopefully the Galaxy S5 um, you know, stays with uh, the Note 3 pattern, and uh, you know, hopefully it's just really nice. The other thing I did not mention was there's also going to be um, uh, less apps loaded onto your Galaxy S5, so there'll be less installed apps when you get the device. Anyways guys, that is a spec comparison on the both. I'm sure everybody's looking forward to Galaxy S5 being released. As always guys, thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for more and be sure to subscribe to our channel.